Hi guys, and we're back again with Awakening Ajax. So, it's only been two games since the last two of the beating we took off Bayern Munich in what seemed to be the, the craziest five minutes to beat Roda and absolutely smash them and properly give them a doing. We went on then to beat ADO, ADO Deng Hang 3-0 solid and as you can tell a slightly if not more rotated team thinking of the Champions League game against Easy Alkmaar and it was Delet in the 106th minute and the extra time that put us through to the final where we will play RKC from the Jupiter League so that's going to be an interesting one I think so today we've got Bayern Munich and VVV or VVV Valeno so we'll just jump straight into it guys So, for us, it's obviously our standard thing. We've got our strongest team out, maybe apart from Delet, hmm. for Gerver and Nunley in it probably. But we've got Dahlberg, Dumbelli up front with Klassen, St. Graven, Cliver, Van de Beek, Tierney, Randewald, Sanchez, Volkman, Iwana in goal. Bench is Rossbach, Delet, De Jong, Neres, Vergerver, Nunley, and Terori. And the Bayern Munich team. <laughs> yeah. It's got Robert Lewandowski up front with Coman, Muller supporting with Diego and Vidal in the middle with Kimmich in 32. There's the phone. Alaba, Hummels, Boetang and Asbur Lequeta. There's a back four with Neuer in goal with Wankenhoof, Sewell, Coquelin and Bolo, Sanchez, Martinez and Robin on the bench. And I'll see you all for the team talk. And here we go. Let's make this good. Ooh, Tierney's a bit tired. Everyone else is okay. Ooh. So we are going to stay off attacking as well. I'm going to try and hit them straight off the bat. Oh, Daily St. Graven, come on man. Better than that. So we're going to try and hit them straight away. I want to get in about them. Try and get the early goals if it's possible. Miller St. Graven. Oh. I thought I was, thought we were going to be straight through there. We can't let them get a uh, hold in the game. It has to be said. If we can, well, unfortunately, it's like it's just going to be the Bayern Munich game, the Bayern Munich show. What? For? Come on now. Yeah, I was a bit dubious. It looks like he just blocked the ball. Now oh, it's over the bar. So. Sorry guys, there was no videos, well, today for me, but yesterday for you. Uh, just refurb took over again. So I'm going to try and get as many out as I can. There will be probably a double day of Ajax and Ipswich, just to cover the three days. Oh, it nearly went in. Manuel Neuer, a great save to stop that one, but we're 20 minutes in. We just need a, we need a goal, has been quite a... So far we've had no shots. None. Zilch. Neil Poir. He only puts a tackle in, but he's out of position. Vidal could use that. Diego. Oh, Rodden Wheel cuts out the ball. It was definitely going to go to Lewandowski. That's a big gap for St. Graven to run into. Somehow Neuer's kept it out again! I'm attacking straight off the bat with Bayern Munich. Seems to have worked. But it's it's um it's limited them. It has to be said as well. They're not coming forward as much, and probably in hindsight, probably should have done in the first half. But it is what it is. Thought we'd try and do the, what we did against Barcelona. At least pick out a draw, if not a small, slight win. If it was nil nil going into it, which it was all the way up to when I'd done that, and then it was just a crazy craziness. Maybe clashing over the bar. Um, craziness of the last two three minutes that really cost us that game. Uh, commitment. Uh, no, I'm going to say. Yeah, hang on. No, 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 no. Show on half and second half. There we go. Second half and second half. A better showing in the second half. We've done well, but I think we're just, we're going to be done if Mbolo comes on because that was just three quick goals from him. Although we kept them quiet, it was 
two mistakes and a brilliant piece from them. But we need a goal here, guys. We've got 45 minutes now to somehow pick out a goal, but it's not going to be easy to get past Neuer. I would take a draw. To be fair, a loss to Bayern Munich isn't the most embarrassing thing. The way we've done it is, yes. But it's not the harshest of results. That's a good ball to Van der Beek, actually, if you can find someone now. Don't dawdle on it too much. Some grabbing. Tierney. Mm, Tierney, that wasn't meant, son. But somehow, wins us the corner. <laughs> and I mean to try and deliver a good ball in. No one really there. St. Gravin should get there. Don't dawdle on it. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Good lad. On the wheel. Boltman. Don't care if we have to go back to come forward. As long as we try and find that killer ball. Because right now we have Bayern Munich. Again. On the ropes. We haven't been playing badly. And that's kind of a good thing. We haven't played bad at all. In fact, we've really taken the game, it has to be said, as no <sighs> We've really taken the game to Barry Munich as uh, Justin Cliver almost stuck with that. It's been a good spell in this first kind of 10 minutes from us. I'll start thinking about changes just shortly though. Now was going nowhere, but Neuer's out. If that's a mistake, if Neuer makes a one of them unusual mistakes, oh, hey, thought I was giving up to an unusual Neuer mistake, but unfortunately not. Well, if he can get the ball, don't let them start passing it around here, guys. Get in their faces a bit. Because here comes a goal. And it's going to be Lewandowski who's going to pop this one in. Oh, one of big saves. So we're going to start looking at changes, guys. There we go. Um, Clive has been good. We're going to move him from class and put class and take Nolny on. Just a slight change. Nolny more suited to a winger position. We'll stick him on attack. And we'll do the same with St. Graven. Wingers on attack. What's he better at? We'll keep him as a shadow striker. I don't think we've really had nails. Tierney's been playing good, but he is a bit lesser than everyone else. And I'll keep defence just a little bit fresher. And then we'll go to the 75th minute or the 80th minute just to see. To be fair, holding Bayern Munich is probably a, is a good thing. No, no, the arrow. But these are just after the changes, so if they score, they score. But Vergever gets a header on it. And when only on it gives them um, a proper winger. Not I'm not saying that Cliver isn't half decent when Bolo comes out. Oh, whoa. Deflection or just gust of wind. But um Yeah, it's not that Cliver's a bad winger. It's just that his attacking prowess is probably better than he is. And with a link up with Nulney being from the John League as well. It helps and we might we <laughs> we need like another three goals, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. Straight away, Clivert to Nunley, Nunley to Dumbelli, Dumbelli just volleys it in past Neuer. There is time for us to get four goals. We have smashed teams and smashed teams before, but hopefully that kind of gets us woken up a wee bit now. Andrew just as they're starting to get a bit more tired now for Bayern Munich because we, we're attacking and attacking and attacking constantly it tires them out more than I think it really does us because they're having to defend a lot more as Martinez and Rentro Sanchez is on keeping Mbolo quiet is going to be pretty hard so <laughs> somehow we must have flicked that over everybody well, that's a good chance for Nunley. Can't get the ball back. Van de Beek can't get there. Vidal. And Bolo's through. And oh, now a big save again. Two goals. Two goals puts us to extra time. So we've got now got about 
13, 14 minutes, 10 minutes now to score two goals to really bring this up. I think they've kind of... Oh, Voltman. If that's not a red card, that's good. Okay, good enough. Break up the play. Right, for the last nine minutes as well. We're going out anyway. There's no there's no um, question about this. But, we're either going to go down the blaze of glory, or we're really going to take this to them in the last couple of minutes. They did it to us. There's no reason why we cannot do it to them. Oh, normally he probably should have just fired out and across. So yeah, there is no reason why we cannot... Oh, Lewandowski's through. That's a goal. That is a goal. Yeah, it's all over now, guys. We are out of the Champions League yet again. But this time, we've kind of not embarrassed ourselves too much. Now, it is, seems embarrassing. But, drawing the second leg isn't the, the worst thing, I suppose. Unless we're just out for the win now, apparently. Yeah, we're just, we're just out for the win now. <laughs> to be fair, like, we need three goals to go through, and it's not going to happen in this short amount of time, I suppose. But this one... That's, that is what you call playing the ball. Dembele just runs with it. Dahlberg scores. Playing for the win, at least it's going to make the aggregate score look a bit more flattering for us. But every year... We just, we just haven't had that much luck, to be quite honest, when it came to last year, Tottenham, Ray all the way to the final this year, Bayern Munich. It's kind of the luck of the draw for us. We, you know, to be fair, that crazy three minutes probably did cost us this match. If we went into that nil-nil, and, because the plan was, defensive, try and, try and sneak a goal, an away goal at least, in the last wee bit, didn't quite happen. Oh, that was a bleep that should be in there. Um, yeah, this is the luck of the draw. The 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 plan was defensive up to about the 79th, 75th, 80th minute in the first leg, try and sneak an away goal, come into this one on full blown attack and it would have helped but until the VVV Valeno game, I'll catch you all in a second, bye for now. And we're back guys for what could be the winning championship game, as you always just been yawning. I'm not going to try and butcher the uh, VVV team's names, so this is their starting 11 and their bench, and for us it is the exact same team apart from the let is in for Sanchez, that started against Bayern Munich. So we're just going to get straight into it. The exact last game, a draw, Caesars win the league, one confirms it. That was a poor, poor talk from my assistant manager. It's not got any better. So, let's get into this. We're far enough far enough ahead that PSV can't even catch us. So, knowing, knowing me and knowing us, we'll probably lose this game. That's VVV coming forward. A little bit of confidence in beating uh, Heravine 5-2. Manuel with a clearance. <clears throat> but not lots happening so far. Van de Beek clearance again. They're really taking the fight to us. This opening minute. There's something going to happen. This highlight's going on way too long. Weathered early storm. <laughs> Dembele makes it 1-0 within the first two minutes of the game. It looks like this could be another...
thrashing for a team dollar right across the keeper misses it completely Dembele tucks it home nicely now as he come back now no Voltman there with a nice bit of a clearance I wouldn't say it was the best clearance but is it is and they've shot wide and the phone goes off twice in the same video Right, come on. Another goal would make us a bit more comfortable here. Uh, Opaku to Rocheval. To Oosting. To let nice tackle. Dembele. Oh, gets caught. Reclaims the ball though. Gets caught again by Oosting. <coughs> Should have probably turned and went the other way. But I think this hasn't no, has broken. Obviously, this has been a very long highlight. They went over the bar with theirs again. For goal difference of 63. We've destroyed teams. This season, we've been very, very, very good this season. The one defeat and the one draw so far this season. As shape this, we could have woken up, I don't know, what last season I think was just kind of, well, we done it, type thing, you know, we still get our tactic second season, they've just really come in to their own, and smashed the league this season, you know, the three or four big teams you would expect to really be challenged, only one of them's even close, and they're over 20 points behind us, they're 24 points behind us. And PSV, Feyenoord being thirdly back there on 49, and I would put FC20 up there on 41, so... They've really... not done much. David Klaas an absolute thunderous attack. And then he gets the booking for it. I'm kind of not really saying much in this because there's not really a lot to say. Let's kind of just sit back and watch this game. Goldberg just pings a free kick over the top. But I kind of want VV. I want to, I always want nearly promoted teams to stay up because I think it's just fun because it changes the kind of architect of the league. Menorah is, there's no fear of us ever getting relegated. Yeah, not when we're Ajax. Oh, he's at the post, and Delac clears it. That should have been 1 1. He's back in, keeper saves. <clears throat> back out, Classen to recycle the ball back to Tierney. Wrong side. Tries to find his Celtic team, ex Celtic team mate, Dembele. Dembele has been a sensation. I thought it was a risk at the start of the season buying him. But he has the Terori replacement. And then, so Brendan Terori will leave. And will probably bring up someone else from the Jean League. Two came up this season. No, actually, three came up this season. So maybe two comes up next. Because I don't really want to flatten the Jong League. But. I'm ready to looking through my under 19s to put in the regions that come through. In that one. No, I'll go away, dear class. In fact, since you're looking stressed, you can come off your yellow card. And, um, yeah. So we're kind of building the team with Justin Cliver, you know. Delet and Nunley all playing parts within the season, getting goals or up the assists table a little bit. But Cliver and Nunley and Delet will grow into this team. This is their first season here, and the first team played extremely well. But I'm expecting them next season to push on a bit more. But yeah, players like Nuri who I've already said and I've openly said I'm never selling due to the fact of his real life 
a robot. It recently happened for a 20 year old. I want to kind of him to be the the kind of original and come the end of the season. Regardless, you know, I want him to, you know, I would either tweet him and say, look, regardless of what you are, you know, what's happened to you in your life now, there's always going to be that chance that, yeah, you did all this. I don't know if I should really, I don't know if that would be kind of hampering him, going, well, look what you could have been, but no. It's kind of one of those things of the boys got respect even in the in Holland as it is within the duck and within Holland itself. I'm sure that boys got support coming through and um, yeah, there's not really much else you can see. Is Dahlberg manages to put the ball in the back of it. I think this is now turned into I've got a partnership of at least 30 goals a season if I keep Dahlberg Tierney crosses it in Keeper comes for it Dahlberg, Klassen's up for it not Klassen, sorry, Delet I think that was is up for it, Dahlberg gets the goal Ooh, quite even I wasn't expecting a hammering I wasn't expecting to hammer them but I wasn't expecting it to be that close either and it's another good save from our goalkeeper I think we've now won the league. I think it's pretty much confirmed we've won the league this season at an absolute canter. Again, apart from Daly St. Graven, Jane Unley must have been quite quiet, and Justin Clyburn quiet in this game. Quiet. Not too bothered. They're still growing, all three of them. It's not really that much of a big deal. We're quite quiet in this game. Taking it easy, lads, as Van de Beek goes and gets sent off. That's fine. Because we just take him off. And actually, I'm going to welcome on for the last five minutes, nearly. And we're going to play him. Neither one's playmaker on attack. I really need to put my wingers on to attack as well, I think that's what I'm going to change up a little bit. Now if you have a look, just whilst this is going on, we'll look we're doing the rest of the table. As it stands, two points separate bottom to 15th, seven points overall as Dahlberg scores again and Dembele gets yet another assist to add to this. Uh, total that he seems to be going after. Crosses in Dahlberg, nice. Oh, just in, and it, he smashed that one in. So yeah, we might be down to ten men. That isn't going to stop us by the looks of things in this game. Um, yeah, this video won't be scheduled to go out. This will just go out whenever it's uploaded. And I'll get busy recording the next one, which will be about 11 o'clock tomorrow, which is Thursday for you guys. And then we're back into Ipswich, so at least three done today. Plus playing the game, so, um, yeah. I'm not going to see, I'm, I'm going to wait until we, I'm going to show on camera just to, you know, yeah, there is our Ajax clinch the ever DC title. Yet again, the lap set for pay increase. That should keep them happy. Yep. Dahlberg, the lap, they're all happy now. We won the league. That's it. So if they say they just want to win silverware, the league or a cup, I'm guessing, is your best bet. If they say Champions League and I, you're going to struggle a bit more to keep them. But, as proven there, they were saying that they um, wanted to leave to do a due to silverware, they wanted to win the silverware, I've won the league, they're happy to stay again. Which means I can knock out Casper Dahlberg's um hopefully I can knock out his release clause. I don't think the let's got one, so that helps. So yeah, there we go. Not a lot more I can say, we'll just
plow through the season a bit, probably won't come back. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Right, we'll come back to the end of the season. The RKC and Heravine game. Yes, the SC Heravine game. So, that'll be it, guys. That'll be tomorrow's morning's episode right in there. So, I've got to play all these games, which is fine. So, until next time, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe below. Until the end of the season, I'll see you all guys later. Bye for now.